Hey, what's up guys? Rod98 talking to you and I wanted to make a video here on how I feel in society now as a raw vegan. I'll tell you how I feel. I feel pretty, I feel pretty sad. I feel sad for us as a whole, you guys. Because when I look around and I see how there's so many people just so addicted to the foods that they put into their mouths, like literally, people say to me, oh man, I love fruits and vegetables. I could eat fruit all day, I could eat a salad all day long, but I could never give up cheese. These kind of things, as a raw foodie, and have been you know, eating and practicing this lifestyle for you know, close to a couple years now, I feel that right there, yeah, that's a sad, that's a sad one. So, you know, for me personally in society, I feel like I've got, I've got some work to do and that's why I started this channel because I'm thinking, okay, maybe I should just, you know, become a voice and try to talk to people and give them, you know, a little piece of my brain and insight, hopefully help change somebody's mind in, in some form or fashion. So in society now, I feel sad. I feel sad for us as a whole. We have a lot to change. We have a lot to clean up. We have a lot to do. Um, I, I love the activists, you know, that are speaking for the animals. And I love the doctors that are stepping forth, that are coming out with their research and their findings as to how these plant foods can reverse massive amounts of ailments that plague us as a whole. And uh, I also am very, very you know, excited to see what happens to the environment once we make this change. Now I say once we make this change because I'm really trying to be positive. You know, I don't really like to word, use the word try even. I'm really, really being positive that we can make this change. We have to make this change. This planet cannot sustain the way that we're living right now. Uh, there's lots of different research and documentaries out there showing it. Now, I personally haven't, you know, flown around the globe and, and done all the measurements and documenting myself. You know, each one of us is a link in the chain and there's people out there doing their jobs in different ways. And I'm trying to do my little bit of right here with you guys. So in society, that's the way I feel. You know, overall, I kind of feel sad for society. For myself, you know, how I feel with, amongst society, I feel somewhat strange, I guess you could say, because it takes a lot more preparation and mind, you know, mindset uh, to keep, you know, living this lifestyle. I have to think about what I'm going to be bringing with me everywhere I go. It is a lot more work. I mean, hands down, becoming a raw food vegan is, is more work in certain ways because you have to plan what you're going to be doing. Now, once you have that, that dialed in, after a few months, about three months, I'd say, you're, it's not going to be as hard. You're going to know right where to go in the store. You're going to be knowing right what you're drawn to, the different vegetables and fruits that you love and that make you feel good. And you'll have different recipes within your arsenal that you can whoop up and bring with you different places, different dips, dressings, uh, you know, certain things like that. Um, so, you know, it does take some time in that, in that aspect, but, uh, we, we can make the change, you guys. And, you know, right now I'm at this resort and this is an all-inclusive resort where they feed you anything you want for the most part. I mean, they have, you know, their, their choice of stuff here ranging from Japanese to Italian and anything and everything in between. French, you know, of course, there's, you know, lots of Mexican food. There's a lot, you know, all the American food stuff here. They have um, two different grills right out by the pool to where you can just swim up and get chicken or burgers and fries. And, and that's a really fun concept. Me personally, what I would like to do, I would like to swim up <laughs> and I would like to get a bowl of ice cream with like a, uh, you know, date drizzle on top, you know, or a strawberry basil drizzle on top, right? Or I'd like to have a really delicious fruit smoothie in the morning time. These kinds of things, I'm having a little harder time accessing that those kinds of foods here. Uh, so in society, it can be tricky because it's it's not necessarily set up for being a raw food vegan. Now, being a regular cooked vegan, no problem. There's so many cooked vegan options here, and uh, you can find out if you're you know eating cooked vegan. You can find out if you're at a resort or you're on a cruise ship or you're at a hotel and they got a continental breakfast, maybe ask if they've got a different butter substitute so you're not getting a real butter in there and you're staying away from those, those animal products. So I definitely feel like we have a lot of shifting to do within this society. And I'm seeing people on a daily basis drink boatloads of alcohol 
Now, I used to drink. I never really was too big into it, but it was fun. Oh, we'd get together with some friends. You know, you'd have a couple of drinks. Hey, let's get together, have a couple of beers. You know, let's let's barbecue. Now, these kinds of things I don't necessarily ingest anymore because I'm not going to justify, you know, an equation or make an excuse that it's, you know, oh, it's just this trip because I know how it makes me feel. It makes me feel tired. It makes me feel gross. So as well as understanding the uh, little bits of, you know, aspects that I understand about the anatomy and physiology and what the alcohol actually does to us. No bueno. I do not want to put that into my system. How I feel in society, like I said, overall, I feel kind of sad. I, I feel sad for us as a whole. And we all have a lot of work to do on cleaning our, our inner terrain up, cleaning our mindsets up, getting our thought processes shifted, and uh, making the switch to becoming vegan. We all have to put on those glasses. We need to take off the standard American diet glasses and put on the veganism glasses. And I wish I, it was that easy and I could just be like, yo, check it out. You guys got to see this and like give you know somebody a pair of glasses and then they're locked on for like five minutes or, or just something to shift their their mindsets. I'm still learning my voice, still learning how to talk to people, you know, out here in the uh, world on this topic because we regard our food choices more sacred to us, I feel like, than our our religion, and so that's where it's really tricky. Um, but anyways. I guess, yeah, that's about it for this little video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Maybe hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications for new videos. You can find me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and YouTube, Raw Natty Nate. Until next time, guys, love you.